Hey there, everybody. How is everybody today? Monday morning at, or not morning, afternoon. This day has flown by. Uh, right after the Super Bowl. So did everybody survive this weekend? I have to say I loved the energy that uh, the Super Bowl brought to um Minneapolis. Um, it seems like the riot stayed in Philly, so that's all good. Uh, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles for taking home the trophy. Did you guys watch? Did you have your favorite um, commercial? I did. I actually, for the longest time, the uh, Doritos Mountain Dew commercial uh, with Morgan Freeman was my favorite for a good stretch. I mean, it was about two and a half quarters that it lasted. And then... Um, yeah, the NFL's commercial with the dancers, the, yeah, yeah, Manning and um, Odell dancing blew it out of the water for me. I was laughing hysterically. So, um, but I will say when uh, we, when I was planning my week last week, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was thinking about what that week before Super Bowl would look like. And I was like, Ugh, we're probably going to be so dead. There's so much going on. I think sellers are going to be and buyers are going to be afraid to go out and etc etc and uh, lo and behold I was so busy last week that um, I actually sold three properties mm hmm and let me think I think two of them sold before market so they weren't listed yet and then uh, one was in multiple offers which my buyer won so also in that time frame I got about six calls from people saying they are ready to buy or sell a house. So <sighs> spring market is, if it's not already here, it's soon going to be here. And so uh, I did go on a couple appointments for sellers last week and they were like, what do we need to get her ready to get our house ready to go on the market? So can you give us some tips? So I thought there might be others of you out there thinking about what you can do to get your house ready as well. So Especially if you're here in Minnesota, we're in the dead of cold. Not all the prep goes on outside. This is a perfect time when you're nesting, you're getting your house totally hoogered out um, to just keep it going and get it ready for market in the spring. So let me give you some quick tips. Uh, focus on the inside. That's Winter is the best time. Sorry, I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, and yet it's going through. So I don't know my phone. I need a new phone. Uh, so sorry about that pause. Winter is the best time to declutter your home. You're stuck inside, and I can say I've been doing a lot of that over the last six weeks. Thanks to everybody who's jumping on, um, listening to these tips I have for getting your house ready for the spring market while you are holed up inside. Hey, Bonita Vanita, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to feature what the buyers will love. So when you're going through your house, don't think about you as the occupant for X amount of years. Think of yourself as um, what is the buyer? Look at it through fresh eyes. Remember when you went to go look at that property, what attracted you to it? And then focus on that because a lot of that's still the same. So. Winter is a good time. You know, you can't tell if the basin's going to flood, but you can tell how drafty the house is. So if you need to put a little weather stripping or things like that on the doors to keep out the drafts, do that. I always say buyers will add zeros to problems. So what I mean by that is it could be a $10 run to Home Depot for you to get some weather stripping, and they will think that it is a $1,000 fix because they're going to need a new door plus weather stripping plus new insulation. So just remember that. Um, and then if you've been following my, my Facebook Live posts, you will know that I've been obsessing over my kitchen and my bathroom for the last four years since I purchased this property. So you, like me, should focus on the tired bathroom, judge it up a little bit. So whether that be getting a new sink, getting a new vanity, little paint, new accessories, towels, whatever it is, make that happen. I already talked about decluttering, but while you're decluttering and you're getting rid of stuff, go ahead and take a look at your carpet. Like, make sure that you don't need to move stuff out of the way. And here's a thought. Do you need to get new carpet? I actually talked to my carpet guy today. So if you need a carpet guy, let me know. I've got a great guy for you. And um, he just installed some carpet in one of my new listings coming up. So now's a great time to do it. Just make sure that once you do have it installed, that you remember to take off your boots and your shoes because it's still not carpet friendly outside. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, if you need any other advice, 
any help, you want me to take a look at it, see what you need to do to zhuzh it up, to get it ready for the market, let me know. I'm having great success selling these babies outside of uh, going live on the market. So that's a way that you don't need to be like bothered with a bunch of showings all the time and things like that. So we can also talk about that. All right, Benita, did you survive the um, Super Bowl? I know you were volunteering, so hopefully you spread the Minnesota nice via California roots to all the good visitors that were visiting our town. Okay, that's what I've got for you right now today. You need anything else, you know where to find me. You can go to my Facebook page, AM Freeman Home. Um, you can also check out my website, which is www.amfreeman.com. I bet you're tired. You were active for the last 10 days. Thank you for all your work in representing our fine city. I know you did great. So I'm out of here for now, but go out and make it a great rest of your Monday. Uh, did I get my number? 612-578-2588. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.